Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me again, Lip. And if you saw my last Let's Play, the last video of my last Let's Play, which is Swashbucklers, and if you saw my last Lowdown video, I said that uh, I was going to be starting. Well, in my last video, Swashbucklers, my, the, the last level, I said the next game I'll be starting will be Swash, will be uh, Galleon for the original Xbox. Then the video right after that, the most recent one will be the Lowdown where I decided that I couldn't do Galleon, at least not at the time, because I had played it for a while, and I, I, I'd made about 13 or 14 videos. I think I made it almost halfway through the game, when I just started getting really frustrated. You know, I, st I started having to rely too much on, like, the Let's Play, and I don't, I don't mind that, it's just... Well, well I, I, I had to uh, rely too much on uh, the... Uh, the walkthroughs and I don't know a lot, I, I guess it's just that I was I was playing it blind you know for the first time and I wasn't expecting it to be that like annoying the game is really annoying I just wasn't used to it this this is a budget I consider it like a budget game but this is one of those budget games where you gotta really sort of like get used to it. So I started that, got frustrated, said screw it. Started Warriors of Might and Magic. <coughs> the game I was gonna do after I did Galleon. Got frustrated with that. So here I am back again and I was like, well when I, after I got frustrated with Galleon, I was like, well let me keep my save data so I can fool around some afterwards. And so after I deleted all my videos I went back to Galleon, continued where I left off, started playing it, started adapting a little more to it, to it. and I, I'm used to the gameplay. I, I need help every now and then, not on all my games, but on, on like well, on like certain some of the puzzles on this game. I need a little help just with like figuring stuff out because they some stuff they really I don't know how they expect you to figure it out. But thanks to Ian Noble, I think that's right. I A I I A I N. I don't know what that is. Ian Noble on Game Facts. Thank you for your walkthrough. Now much I don't need it every single step of the way. I'm not I'm not that bad of a gamer. But certain things. So what I decided to do was after I deleted the videos, I was like, well let me just play it and just and, and, and just see how see if it's as bad as I thought. Because uh I don't like to uh do let's plays and work and upload them to YouTube as I'm doing them because most of the games you see me play on here I'm playing them for the first time so I'm not going to upload you know something before I even know if I can before I even know if it's if I can even complete the game or not and I'm not going to call it a let's play a walkthrough because I uh like I said most of the games I'm playing I, I'm playing them for the first time I can't really walk you through it I can play it, you know, like, let's play it and see what happens. If I get stuck, I get stuck. And the videos will never come on YouTube, or I'll probably beat the game. But, <clears throat> once I started playing it after I stopped let's playing it, I made it pretty far in the game. So, what I decided to do was just continue. I'm guessing this is chapter 6. I, I don't know what those numbers are. I, mean, I, I guess they're the chapters. But, uh, what I decided to do was just continue or just start the let's play from here hopefully I'll beat the game and if all goes well from here to the, towards the end of the game then I'll I'll start the game over again and just record up to this point if that makes any sense so uh... yeah and, I, and I'm also going to uh... I'm still going to do Warriors of Might Match even though I got frustrated with it I turned, I stopped let's playing and I just, because I don't, I don't test my games like I, I don't like to play games and complete them, then play them again. Or let's play. I like to just play them blind. So that's that's kind of the, uh, I guess the price I paid for that. But uh, I realized in, in Warriors of Might and Magic that I could actually revisit levels with my leveled up character. So that's what I'll probably do. I'll level up a little bit to make things a little easy for myself. Then I'll start to let's play. I mean, then I'll start to let's play from the first level where I'm leveled up. 
and you know if you get the game you can do the same thing so it's not it won't be a big mystery of you know why I'm so leveled up because if, if you have the game and you play it you know that you can revisit levels whatever we'll get into that when we get into that that's another game now I want to finish off or try to do this let's play for Galleon and if you want you can fast forward or whatever pass all this talking so we can get right to the gameplay <coughs> so here we go One thing I like to do in this in this battle right here, I like to use what little ammo I have to, to get some free hits off because he's always going for the girl. And then you got to fight off his goons as well, and they're always bear hugging you and stuff. So you gotta. I actually did this video before, but the microphone was on mute, and I didn't realize it. So now I'm doing it over again. Come on. One thing I really enjoy about this game is this combat system. Even though it's wonky, I still sort of enjoy the combat system. Come on, get up. I see you over there. Yeah, the combat system is probably the best part. That and just like the navigate. Like the combat system is wonky and sometimes frustrating. But that's one of the best parts, aside from the navigation. The, na the navigation is also wonky and sometimes uh, frustrating. So it's crazy. Like all, all, a lot of the th things I like about this game are things that really, really frustrate me. think so. Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah, I really like this game. I really like it. It's really fun. It's a really uh, enjoyable game. The story's okay. Voice acting is pretty neat as well. This is pretty uh, pretty decent. Well, they aren't both lost. The ruins of Amicon are on an island in the Forbidden Sea.
and I'll end this video and start a new one.